On 20th August, the condemned were told not to put their clothes outside their cell that night. This was the first sign that their sentence was to be carried out. Father Joman spent the night with Father Rainish and three other Catholics moving between their cells. Shortly after 1 a.m., Father Rainish made his last confession and received the Holy Communion. Father Rainish spent his last hours in prayer and joyful expectation. At 3 a.m., he gave Father Joman the last of his possessions and his farewell letter to his parents. Their jackets were slung loosely over their shoulders and their hands were fastened behind their backs. They were then marched to a ground floor extension and came to a halt well apart from one another. When a Catholic's turn had come, the priest went to him, gave him the crucifix to kiss and prayed with him. Two guards then led him into the room where the guillotine stood separated from the rest of the room by a black curtain. A few steps inside the room stood a small table with burning candles and a crucifix, and behind the table stood the judge and state prosecutor, to their left the registrar. Further to the left stood a doctor and the pastor. The sentence was again read out. The state prosecutor then turned to the executioner and said, Executioner, do your duty. The curtain was drawn to reveal the guillotine. The guards took the condemned by the arms, removed his jacket, laid him on a board and fixed his head with another board. The executioner released the blade and the head fell into a container. The executioner stepped back, removed his top hat and declared, The sentence has been carried out. Once the doctor had confirmed the death, head and trunk were placed into the awaiting coffin. The victim's blood cleaned away and the next man was led into the room. Father Rainish died at 5.5 a.m on 21st August 1942.